गुड मॉर्निंग गुड आफ्टरनून एवरी वन ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ एक्स सिक्योरिटीज आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू दू टू एफ आर ट्वेंटी फोर अर्निंग्स कॉन्फ्रेंस कॉल ऑफ रोल एक्स रिंग लिमिटेड फ्रॉम द मैनेजमेंट साइड वी हैव विद अस टूडे मिस्टर मनीष माडेका चेयरमैन एंड मैनेजिंग डायरेक्टर मिस्टर मिही माडेका फुल टाइम डायरेक्टर मिस्टर हिरेन जोशी चीफ फाइनेंशियल ऑफिसर सो ओवर टू यू हिरेन सर फॉर योर ओपनिंग रिमार्क्स yeah good afternoon ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for sparing your valuable time for the feedback or updates on the earning calls for the quarter 2 as well as the first half of fy24 uh before uh, the, taking you the financial numbers we would like to update that uh, there are uh, still uh, you know the european markets are still under pressure and uh, recovery what we are expecting or other the industry is expecting to revert uh, is not at the par and uh, the way it has gone down it is not coming up a uh, gradual improvement in certain uh, region it is there but uh, uh, the other region where the existing customers are there the things are not moving positively uh, it's us so you know why because uh, we are uh, able to and a couple of more customer in european market that's why uh, we have the same kind of or as a stable numbers but the reduction from existing customers it's still under pressure and still has not moved up uh would like to take you through the uh, financial numbers mm-hmm. in this quarter 2 fy24 <coughs> company has recorded revenue of 321 crore almost uh with service it was uh, 311 crore in the first quarter of uh, this fiscal it has a marginal growth of 1 uh, and 1/2 to 2 percent only because certain uh, additional number is because of the change of delivery terms yeah, with the customer and uh, that has been added over there though it has also added into the uh, expenditure so the actual factual growth in terms of uh, numbers in top line is somewhere about 1 and 1/2 to 2 percent compared to the previous quarter in terms of ebitda uh, we were able to record uh, ebitda for the second quarter at 22 percentage which was 23 percent in the previous quarter it has bit suppressed that is because of the change of uh, uh, some product mix certain uh, revenue what it was not significant in the very first quarter and it has shoot up in the second quarter which are low value added processes so that is why the bit margin has uh, suppressed but down the line uh, we are very much confident for uh, 22 and a half to 23 and a half odd percentage of ebitda to maintain our or rather the consistency of ebitda what we are having for last couple of years in terms of uh, uh, pbg and pat in last quarter rather second quarter company has recorded pbg of 63 crore uh, with the pat of 47 crore which was uh, 48 crore pat and 65 crore pbg in the previous quarter broadly the uh, revenue sharing revenue segments in terms of bearing ring and auto components almost 40% is there in auto components and 60% near to the bearing ring segment same in case of exports domestic uh, exports has bit decrease at the same time domestic uh, revenue has uh, increased as i was mentioning that a couple of domestic bearing ring customers has increased their level what it has been suppressed in the first quarter that is why the export percentage has been gone down otherwise it is in the range of 58 to 59 percentage of overall revenue uh the updates for the new customer couple of uh, customers for the hybrid and ev car project particularly the one of the european uh, german customer uh, they have uh, started picking up the initial supply and we expect that this supply would be ramp up somewhere in the first quarter of next fiscal apart from that there is another customer base at italy uh, again for the hybrid and regular passenger vehicle they are uh, 
starting their supply by the uh, <coughs> December 23 or January 24. Uh, in uh, Latin countries like uh, Brazil and Mexico, we have also uh, able to start supply with the couple of customers, uh, the new customers and the regular supply. We expect something to be from Gen 24 onwards. The Indian customer who has already awarded the certain components for the EV to our customer and our customers are uh, going to source the initial batches from Gen 24 onwards. The solar power project, 11.5 megawatt, it is about to be commissioned in next 30 to 35 days, latest by end of December 23. All the things have been placed off only the certain uh, execution of documents uh, with the government authorities and nodal agencies that is in process and we expect uh, it to be completed by 15 to 20th December 23. Uh, would like to tell you that company is a zero, not a zero debt company or rather we can say it's a net debt negative company. We do have surplus uh, in terms of uh, cash flow that we are parking temporarily with the overnight fund and with the fixed deposits for, uh, with the banks. In terms of the revenue mix, uh, by forget it into end user industries or other the segments, almost 40% or something uh, was uh, is still there from the passenger vehicles, uh, vehicle segment. 22 and a half odd percentage is from the industrial segments or 27 percentage from the commercial vehicle and heavy commercial vehicle segment and bit incremental revenue in the EV and hybrid segment. Company is uh, constantly endeavored uh, and put their uh, wholehearted efforts to increase the capacity as well as to increase the top line and bottom line of the company. Uh, overall revenue operations uh, for the first half uh, of this fiscal, that uh, 632 crore revenue, uh, which is the 1180 crore, 1179 crore revenue of previous fiscal, in which the uh, export is somewhere about 321 crore and domestic is 311 crore. In terms of EBITDA, uh, precisely 144, uh, 143.6 crore in the first half of of F524, which was 280 crore for the full year of uh, previous year. PBG, what we have in the first half of F524 is 128 crore visa vis pat of 95 crore, and the same it was the 243 crore pat in F523 and 198 crore in uh, pat in F523. Operating cash flow as it is very much uh, uh, comfort, uh, comfortable and having a sound cash flow which is very much able to manage my entire capex as well as other operations and apart from that additional cash flow company is able to generate that is why the net debt is negative or rather a uh, company is having positive uh, cash balances. Uh, as I, I was mentioning that net debt is zero, it's a negative. The return on equity uh, for the FY23, it was somewhere about 27 percentage. On the half year number, if we calculate, it is somewhere about 23 and a half to 24 percentage. These are the broad, uh, these are the detailed numbers for the operating uh, this quarter two as well as quarter one. This is the uh, first half of previous fiscal. And balance sheet numbers. Now, uh, I would like to open the session for the uh, queries. Thank you, Hiram, sir, for the detailed opening remark. We'll now open the floor for question and answer session. Anyone who wishes to ask a question can use the raise your hand option. Once you are done asking a question, please use the lower your hand option. We'll wait for a couple of minutes for the question queue to assemble. We have our first question from uh, Mr. Sonal. Please unmute your line and ask your question. Hi, uh, good afternoon, sir, and thanks for taking my question. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, great, sir. Thank you. Uh, so, could you give us the product revenues for this quarter and for the first half? 
for the first half, the product revenue is uh, it's 513 crore, 513. Okay, and this quarter is? Uh, sorry, sorry, it's my bad, sorry. Uh, it's 588 crores for the first half. Okay. Yes. And so for this quarter, what would be the number? Uh, for the second quarter, it is 297. Okay, sir. Great. Uh, and uh, any uh, rest food and scrap would be how much? Uh, scrap for the uh, second quarter, it, it is about to, uh, 20 crores. In total, 36 crores for the first half. Got it. Uh, and so you also mentioned in your opening comments that there is some counter entry which is coming both in sales and in other expenses. Could you just uh, elaborate on that? Yeah, see, with the couple of customers, uh, the delivery terms have been changed. What earlier it was is a kind of uh, FOB, and now it is with the you know our DDP terms. So entire ocean freight and other uh, uh, you know destination uh, freight and import duties at uh, destination, all has been added to the revenue as well as it has been added to my expenditure. So the pricing has been changed. Okay. And, yeah. and that is why, is that having an impact on your margins also, right? Like that would be... Uh, in, in terms of percentage, it is bad, uh, but... Uh, Overall, you know, the amount is almost same. What has been incurred by us, it is uh, already been added to the uh, on the product price. But any monthly fluctuation that I'll not be able to pass it on on these things. So that may have some nominal or uh, impact on the margin. Got it. Uh, and just. Uh... Lastly, in terms of so, uh, like, uh, or in terms of your outlook, uh, right? Like, uh, like you mentioned that the conditions are challenging. Uh, so, what are we expecting, right? Like, in terms of full year growth uh, expectations, uh, is that? Uh, uh, I mean, like, we are clearly seeing for some of the large customers as well that there is a downgrade in their own guidance, etc. So. What are you expecting in terms of growth for this year now? See, by and large, for the current fiscal, we would be, or rather, we are a bit confident to having, you know, a growth of somewhere about uh, 12 odd percentage. That would be there, and that is uh, looking possible because of the new customer entry and their lifting schedule, what they have given. And particularly the pressure, what I, have, I was talking earlier, that is mainly from the European uh, segment. And uh, from my existing customer, but uh, at the same time, we are able to add new customers in the uh, European segments, you know, Mexico. So that will give me some additional boost and uh, we'll be able to, you know, uh, have the annual numbers, what we have envisaged somewhere about the 12 out percentage drop uh, uh, annual growth. Uh, got it, sir. And just lastly, sorry, one more question. Uh, like you mentioned that, and we're seeing that the India mix has increased. Is that uh, one of the reasons for lower margins? Uh, the not team product not margins exactly on these. India mix, you know, it is the product mix, as I was mentioning, that uh, uh, one of the our customers, you know, they, uh, one of the main customer in domestic market, as far as the bearing ring is concerned, uh, in the first quarter they were. A uh, bit on the lower side, or uh, uh, whatever their regular up, uh, lifting was there, they were a bit down on that. Now, in this second quarter, they have almost doubled their uh, sourcing, and which gave me, you know, incremental revenue. But those products are with the uh, very less value added processes. So, obviously, the margins are a bit on lower side. So, that is a uh, temporary phase kind of thing. That's why. Got it. Uh, got it. Great, sir. Thanks. I'll join back the queue. Thank you.
या अशोक या वी हैव आर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम मिस्टर गर्वित प्लीज अनम्यूट योर लाइन एंड आस्ट क्वेश्चन हेलो हेलो एम आई ऑडिबल यस थैंक्स फॉर द अपॉर्चुनिटी लाइक यू मैं यूरोप इज स्टिल facing the headwinds and uh, i think uh, it is continuously to be there uh, looking at the pmi data as well so uh, my question is on uh, like you mentioned uh, 12% on growth uh, for fy24 uh, but you are saying ki we are uh, continuously adding on the new customers so uh, what is the outlook for fy25 fy25 uh, looking to the scheduled and the indications given by the new customer and the existing customer we do not expect much of the revert from my existing customer which has been uh, you know uh, pressured or rather down from the european segment but in spite of that we are expecting somewhere about somewhere of hiking growth that is maybe in between 16 to 18% growth for fy25 and what kind of margins do we expect on uh, that growth the uh, margin definitely it would be more than 22 and a half or rather it would be in the range of uh, 22 and a half to 23 and a half percentage understood and so based on the negotiations uh, what are happening with the end customers so uh, how do you see means how do you look at the headwinds going in uh, europe and uh, by when uh, we can expect some uh, recovery there on because in last quarter also we were expecting it from q3 onwards but now uh, i think situation has changed so what is the uh, near term outlook there near term outlook definitely we are not expecting much of the growth from the european segment and even my customers are bit you know uh, not able to tell me that uh, down the line in the first quarter of next fiscal what would be the scenario because uh, you better know in geopolitical situation there are certain other issues came up which has also restricted this thing but we do not expect much of the or rather the significant improvement at least for next couple of quarters that is uh, quarter 3 and quarter 4 of this fiscal understood and sir on the order book side like you mentioned in the last time also uh, we were at a monthly run rate you have shared the monthly run rate of 120 cr so uh, can you share a ballpark number for this quarter as well Means what kind of order book do we have we do have a monthly run rate or order book somewhere about 114 to 118 odd crores 140 to 180 114 114 okay 114 to 118 yes yes so more or less it is the same order book what we do have but uh, you know there are certain uh, changes at the last moment by customer for certain forecast certain dispatches which may differ for a, a fortnight or a month that things happens so with this order book like uh, it is muted one only as compared to last quarter do you think h1 will be h2 will be better than h1 H2 definitely uh, it would be a bit better than the H1 and generally it is the scenario in our uh, history so we are expecting uh, some better numbers compared to this first half okay uh, that thing that makes sense and uh, lastly on the uh, product portfolio side so are we uh, because the uh, obviously a tough phase is going on uh, in the industry so are we spending anything on the product improvement side or the innovation side or uh, bringing the new products to our portfolio to uh, cater to a larger growth uh, when the situation improves the consistent improvement in terms of production strategies in terms of production process it is uh, consistently going on in terms of better yield and uh, uh, to get the precision high precision level of components but as far as innovation is concerned it is my customer who is you know giving all kind of r&d or other uh, coming with me the design and specification of their requirement so we are uh, we are supposed to you know give them a product with a uh, maximum yield and with the high precision level so obviously by uh, if you ask me we are developing couple of new components for the ev by uh, components what we were sell, we are selling to ev and hybrid vehicles those are very well accepted and couple of new customer who, who are going to join maybe in the uh, first quarter of our, uh, next fiscal as well as in the last quarter of uh, this fiscal so that will further added in the you know ev segment hybrid segment uh the products would be added
Okay, uh, you mentioned about EV segment. Uh, I think our target for ever 25 uh, was somewhere around 12 to 14 percent contribution from EVs. So, what is the current uh, contribution, and are we intact on the plan? Currently, uh, my uh, contribution to EV hybrid both put together is nine to ten percent. So, obviously, by if I 25, it would be increase and maybe 15 or percentage definitely because the couple of new customers from US as well as domestic market. the maximum uh, supply will be uh, going to eel so that percentage will definitely go up and so and so on the europe side uh, th- those headwinds are uh, 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 can we uh, can you put some color on like uh, on what p- uh, particular segment uh, those headwinds are uh, 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 more like uh, it is towards the auto side or it is it is towards the industrial side if you that uh, if you can share that uh, highlights it's on both the side even in the auto and bearing ring uh particularly the bearing ring segment is uh, having bit more pressure and uh, we are able to you know uh, increase our certain segmental or rather the automotive components for the uh european customer for the regular passenger vehicle ev and hybrid okay sir okay uh, that that that's it from my side sir uh, all the rest even who wishes to ask a question can use the raise your hand option We have our next question from Abhishek. Please unmute your line and ask your question. Uh, hi, sir. Thank you for the opportunity. First of all, that if you can share the that what percentage of our revenue came from new customers in this particular quarter? Uh, in this particular quarter, if you say quarter two, somewhere about seven uh, to eight percent of my overall revenue it is from the new customer. And, uh, which what, have started for me a new customer is something what it has been started in the first quarter and in this quarter so both put together seven eight or percent is something has been yes okay and uh, uh, what what was the same uh, percentage for fy twenty three it was I think above fifteen percent for the particular period uh, I'm sorry I don't. Have uh, that number readily available with me, but definitely I'll let you know. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And uh, second thing, in previous calls you were mentioning that there is a shift in the bearing manufacturing from tube uh, to the forging side, and we are expecting some orders from uh, because of this uh, divergence. Any progress on that side? We have already submitted more than seventy type of product, and. Uh, they have certain inventory so from next month they will start giving us a schedule for this tube part okay okay uh, and uh, uh, as you are saying that there is a pressure on the europe side and uh, you are mitigating to that uh, so is it your know, mitigation is from the new customers from the european market only or you are uh, getting new customers or new product order from the some new territories which were not uh, with you till fy23 not new territory but definitely the new customers are coming or rather have been added from us mexico brazil then a uh, couple of them from uh, europe uh, in particularly from germany and italy and even in the domestic okay and just one last question on that what is the current uh, capacity utilization rate It is somewhere about sixty-seven, sixty-eight percentage. Okay. So, is it fair to assume that we are not going for a heavy capex at least for uh, next uh, one to two two years, given that uh, current capacity utilization is low? Yeah, definitely, but uh, but uh, not for if I till if I twenty-five or mid of if I twenty-six or something. Not a major. Capex, but okay. uh, you know what we are doing is what we are uh, trying to adopt is a gradual expansion of adding value-added processes and increasing our existing capacity. So there would not be any heavy capex definitely okay. for uh, next eighteen months, but it would be in the range of somewhere about thirty uh, to fifty crore rupees on an annual basis. Okay. Uh, and is there any one-off included in other expenses other than that? What you said that uh, the change in the um, this pricing policy. 
sorry, can you please come again? Uh, is there any one-off included? In, say, for example, something which will not come, uh, in, uh, any expenses which will not recur in the coming quarters in uh, other expenses? Yeah, certain expenses, you know, as uh, we were mentioning and even in last quarter and this quarter also, we are developing good amount of new products where the trial and runs are, uh, you know, happening. So for that, the certain kind of resources, that is, you know, the tool steels, the other uh, resources like uh, electricity, etc., which we are spending, which is there on my current uh, operating numbers. Uh, definitely it will not have significantly in the uh, uh, the later part of this fiscal and uh, in the next year because the much of the development is being uh, uh, operationalized over here. And in the coming quarters, once the product has been stabilized or approved by the customer, they are also uh, trying to pass and, uh, you know, tolling cost to me to reimburse the tolling cost. So that will be credited to my operating numbers. Is it possible to quantify this number? Uh, no, sir, that, 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 that's not possible because uh, multiple customers and multiple products are under process. Okay. But uh, broadly, if I say in this, my uh, current quarter numbers, somewhere about uh, uh, 15 to 17 odd million uh, rupees is being, uh, you know, towards the certain development cost, tooling cost and other resources. Okay, sir. Okay. okay, sir. Thank you, sir. These are all from my side. I would like to remind the participants, anyone who wants to ask a question can use the raise your hand option. We have our next question from Ayush. Please unmute your line and ask your question. Hello, am I audible? Yes. Uh, good afternoon, sir. So, thanks for taking my questions. Sir, I, my question is more on the strategy side. So, I believe uh, you have direct 12 to 14% revenue for FI24 and FI25, 16 to 18%. So, we are still picking on the guidance, which we can see. So, where is the growth coming from? Like, what do you think? Like, because the exports market is also a bit uh, down and you feel there's pressure on the EU side also. So, where are we seeing growth predominantly coming from? See, first of all, as we were mentioning that this fiscal, we would be able to or rather we are a bit uh, uh, comfort uh, to have a growth of somewhere about 12 or percentage. Hmm. And that growth is uh, again a mix back from the various uh, continents that is from even from the US, Europe, we are adding new customers in domestic market, we are adding customers. And uh, when I'm saying adding customer again, it bifurcated or rather included the couple of customers from the bearing ring. And and uh, even for the auto components in uh, particularly in europe in uh, mexico brazil one of the customer in germany they broadly are for the hybrid and ev kind of vehicles in domestic again and uh, passenger vehicle and ev segment Okay. Uh, in US, we are able to add a new customer uh, who are there into uh, non-automotive bearing manufacturing. So it's a mixed bag of you know uh, growth from the territory as well as the product mix. All right. Uh, so another question on this thing you had mentioned on the earlier call, there were some customers who were shifting from tube route to the forging route. So are we seeing any new customers for this particular process? Not a new customer for this particular process. One of the our the main uh, major customer in a, from a domestic market uh, okay. who has already, you know, uh, rather they are under the trial of somewhere about uh, 60, 70 components, different components what we have submitted. Okay. And they are into process of certain, you know, change of design or might be they are uh, approving certain okay. products and certain changes what they are suggesting. But uh, that is from the one customer who okay. have a good amount of market share. All right, all right. That's it. All my questions are answered. Thank you. If anyone would want to ask a question, please use the raise your hand option. Yeah, we have a follow up question from Sonal, sir. Please unmute your line and ask your question. Yeah, hi. Uh, thanks for taking my question again. Uh, sir, uh, if I look at the numbers and given that uh, the mix shift is quite drastic, right? Like this quarter, uh, it seems the exports have actually declined and it's really the grow very strong growth in India, which is sort of 
helped and similarly like you said uh, bearing rings seems to have grown very fast but auto components have declined very sharply so i am just trying to understand right like like uh, while we have been talking about deterioration in demand and weakness in demand uh, is there something in this quarter where there has been some major inventory correction and you expect these things to improve or i mean like just trying to understand or are we uh, given that there has been a drastic reduction on the export side we are taking uh, more orders on the domestic side to sort of keep uh, the utilization levels just trying to understand what is it uh, Yeah, so now let's not uh, see. Initially, I, I I already mentioned that you know one of the domestic uh, customer who sourced bearing ring from us, and uh, in this particular quarter they have almost doubled their sourcing for uh, which it was suppressed in the last quarter, and that is one of the reason why the bearing ring numbers are bit on a higher side. But at, uh, as far as auto component uh, components are concerned, let me tell you the number what we had in quarter Q1. and q2 there the, hardly there is a difference of somewhere about uh, you know uh, 40 to 50 million rupees in terms of uh, domestic auto let me tell you what we have uh, in pre- quarter 1 again it has increased by somewhere about 15% in domestic one only so it is a temporary you know uh, order scheduling and uh, the uh, ordering pattern it's not like that any customer who were sourcing auto component they It went down export uh, customer i'm talking about they went down drastically it's not like that so we have the stable uh, even the numbers for the uh, export side also sorry i'm just calculating because i the mix that you've given in the presentation yes, is tell- on a first yes. half basis yes so yeah so because so according to that my calculation says that we have only 101 crores of auto component revenue this quarter versus say about almost 140 crores in the first quarter uh i, I that the sort of if you no if you say take total domestic as well as uh, export both uh, let me tell you uh, in the second half we have overall uh, almost 141 crore revenue in the second quarter rather and it was in the first quarter is somewhere about uh, domestic and overseas both again it was 140 crore in the first quarter and second quarter 141 crore but with that the number no so the crore... revenue yeah please sorry i am just because the revenues are uh, approximately the same in the first and second quarter and if you are saying because the mix in the first quarter was only I think 48% auto component. I, I'm sorry. Okay, maybe my numbers are slightly off. I will have to double check that. But I mean, like there's a, you're saying 100 because 41%, right? Uh, in the first quarter, 41%. So you're saying 140 crores. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay, see, maybe I'll take I'll that offline. I'll, I'll double check on this. Even even the bearing numbers, it was somewhere about 155 crore. in the uh, you know the first quarter and again it is uh, somewhere about uh, yes 156 crore in the second quarter okay okay so then i'll, I'll double check on my number then. yeah please please oh, something wrong uh, yeah thanks sir. thanks thanks for the clarification as it was the last question of the day i now hand over the Uh, floor for uh, to the management for any closing remarks over to you sir thank you thank you very much all the uh, analysts and the investors who have attended the call uh, i hope we try to clarify uh, their queries and concerns and uh, as usual I, we were telling that we are very much confident to have the certain low teen growth definitely for this fiscal fy24 and uh, maybe a higher team growth for the next fiscal and uh, we are uh, able to achieve it but there are certain fluctuation in terms of couple of percentage here and there that is uh, because of the customer uh, you know the rescheduling of their products and down the line their end, end customers are also frequently changing their pattern 
but because of geopolitical reasons as well as the certain correction in the inventory pileup and all these things. Uh, we, from the company side and management side, we would like to wish a very happy Diwali and a prosperous New Year to all our stakeholders. Thank you. Thanks a lot.